next spot of news is why the last man has has a showrunner. Oh, that I don't won't believe it until I see it. I saw that t- this week too, and I was like, I even said I I don't I don't believe it until the first episode actually airs. So Michael Green currently on uh, on stars is uh, Neil Gaiman slash Brian Fuller drama American Gods will co write the script with uh, comic book creator Brian K. Vaughn. Uh, FX found its man for Why the Last Man. I love that Vaughn is back I'm in so, charge. Yeah. That's that's what has me excited. And I'm so glad they're doing a TV show and not a movie. I still say. No yes. offense to Dan Trachtenberg. I love Dan he Trachtenberg. He would have done a great job. He would have done a fantastic job. He would have taken job. that 60 issue comic and made something fucking awesome. Yeah. Whether even if it was going to be just one or a, tr- a yeah. trilogy of it. Like, he would have knocked it out of the park. Yeah. Right? I mean, dude, 10 Cloverfield Lane was fucking awesome. I don't know if you saw it. Uh, no, I haven't seen it. But I do know that he would have knocked it out of the park because the only reason I know about why he loves Man, the book. He loves the source. He's the only reason I know about it because back on Geek Drome, he used to talk about it non-stop. All the time. Was it on Geek Drome or was yeah, it on No, Geek Drome. It's, he started talking oh. about it then. And I was like, I should read that. I should read that. And then you were like, you should read that. You should fucking yeah. read that. And then I read all 60 issues in like a five-day span. Well, then I never did end up reading, reading it myself until after the run ended. It wasn't yeah. until after the run ended where I just started picking it up. Yeah, um, yeah, because uh, like I've heard about it through... I don't remember it through Greek Geek Drone, but I've heard about it through uh, someone else, uh, Casey McKinnon, mm-hmm. who had her own show on YouTube. She's also a YouTuber, too. And uh, she would talk about it, and then I've heard other people talk about it, and then I heard about it on TRS mm-hmm. talking about it, and that's when I'm like, okay, i got to read this, and that's when I just like ripped through the whole thing. Yeah, and then that's when you were um, like, you should read this, you should read this, because you know what I, I like and I don't like about <laughs> I, comics. I, I finished it, oh, well, I almost finished it, when I went to Barnes & Noble, just to look around, <laughs> like, oh, there's my last man, let me see it. I'm like, holy shit, holy shit. <laughs> but, like, I was probably in Barnes & Noble, like, almost done with the first issue. I'm like, fuck it, I just got to buy the first two then. I said this when we recorded a podcast about it. Uh, do you remember that? After I read it, you and I sat down and recorded a podcast about it. I don't remember. For Mike on Mike. Did we? Yeah. I'm going to have to re-listen to that. I think so. I think, I think yeah. so, too. Because yeah. the first yeah. thing I did, I only there was only two episodes of that because like the whole point of that show was supposed to be like... It's funny. like Christian Spice is kind of doing something similar. He's doing it... Uh, at least it's called at least 20 more minutes and it's like when he has more to say about a topic that that doesn't get covered on his podcast that he does with jeff canada now he sits down and records more about it but and that was the idea it was like stuff stuff that i like that doesn't necessarily fit right in the show or i want to talk more about it and but then we started actually doing three hour long shows and now we've kind of tapered down (laughs) to a reasonable length uh so I, there was just never really lots of things that I wanted to talk about that I couldn't talk about on here or that would take more time to talk about. So the first episode I did was a solo thing talking about um, Kick-Ass comic versus oh, the movie. Oh, that's right. You're right. Yeah. And the second episode, the only other episode, was you and I talking about Why the Last Man. And I think we might talk about casting stuff, but we always, we end up bringing that back once a year when this shit starts getting in the in the news again let's do a fantasy casting because it t- so much time has passed the people we wanted to play the, the main parts have aged out and now we need to find new people to play yeah. the main parts uh, but yeah so go to some shit we like.com and click on Mike on Mike and listen to us talk yeah I'll put the Four link in, the, in the show notes yeah. yeah um yeah yeah there's like a whole new like I think Miles Teller might have been one back in the day but now it's like he can't. He's too old for it. Just can we go back in time and cash JGL? He's a perfect. He's so perfect. I still, I still say I. It won't work now, but I still say the perfect person to play that character would have been Michael Angarano, at the. Yeah, that was I remember who you picked yeah. too. Yeah. Um. Anyway. Yeah, I'm excited about this, but again, I won't. It's not real until it happens. Yeah. Exactly. And I want them to do like I, this is asking a lot. But I'm going to be that guy. I want each issue to be an episode. If it's a 30 minute episode, it can happen. Even if it's an hour, it could happen. But I I was talking to my wife about this the other day because I brought this up while we were out eating. And I was like, oh, it it might actually happen, but I won't believe it until I actually see it. 
And she goes, well, how do you want him to do it? And I go, I think... I think it's more tangible now that they got a, a showrunner. Show yeah. And that Vaughn has got the right and back. And Vaughn, yeah. Um, I said, I think as, as much as I would like to see an hour-long version of this, of each episode on, on TV, I think it what best suits it is uh, not necessarily a sitcom, but a sitcom-style time frame. 22 30. minutes. Yeah, because yeah. 22 minutes without commercials. Oh, yeah. Like, 22 minutes. You could cover all the stuff in each issue in 22 minutes. I said, I would love to see it flushed out and it be an hour, but I think I think half-hour episodes might be the way to go with that show. I think so, too. Um, and like I said, 60, 60 episodes. Each trade is 12 to 13 books. Or 12 to 13 books. I think 13 books. So you could get five seasons out of that fucking comic alone. Plus with whatever other writers made. Right, whatever they, they want to have. Story, yeah, and yeah. they don't have to follow it to the T. They don't to follow it to the T, yeah. Just be true to it. But yeah. man, wouldn't it be cool if they followed it? Not not exactly, but like we're super close to the source. If they get this, like the main points across, yeah. which is, he's the last man, we get ampersand, you know, and like most of the, like the two bats and yeah. so on. Like as long as that stays the same, as far as that goes, I mean, they can pretty much tell any other story too. Yeah. I mean, uh, I mean, it doesn't have to follow each storyline from the book, but you can throw in something new that yeah. we could we could get. I mean, like look look at The Walking Dead for example. Right, right, right. right. Like they've followed the book, but also changed it. And now, it. but now they're trying to get in line with the book, which I they think are, is kind of yeah. cool. But yeah, I, I think if it's done right, which it's going to be, if Brian K. Vaughn's yeah. obviously attached. So I, I really like that source material, though. Like I I even talked about this in that my podcast we recorded all those years ago. When we kept talking about it, and when I would tell you what issue I was on, I kept saying episode. I and, guess, I mean, too. And it's, yeah. and it's not because I don't know the distinction between a comic book issue and a television episode. It's the, They're way, episodic. the way Vaughn wrote that book was written like television episodes. And that's why I really think that half hour format would be fucking perfect. Hmm. But because of the way TV shows are, it'll be an app. Why was that emphasis? On shows, <laughs> TV shows, um, the way shows are, if you're going to do only twelve or thirteen episodes a season, it's got to be an hour long. Yes. Unless you do twenty-four episodes a season and uh, stretch each issue out, and still make it an hour, but do it um, in half-hour pieces. That would you know. Be. Um. Yeah, uh, the characters are a big part too, which is what mm -hmm. I want to see with them taken good care of. Yes, I uh, especially with uh, Yorick, the main character, and with uh, Beth as well, um, and three fifty five. Yes, that's to me. That's the big one, bigger I, than the Beths. I'm still gonna throw it out there. I still believe Olivia Munn can play uh, Doctor Man. Yeah. Um, and I still want to see her play Dr. Man. Yeah. Because she's a fantastic actress. And I think at this point... I think she can. The age would be just about right. Just about right, yeah. But I don't think... No, she does. She's done TV. She's done... Uh, the newsroom. Yeah. Her newsroom. Yeah. Oh. I'm talking like if... I think... Um, like your best friend. <laughs> I know. I think... <laughs> I think they'll do what they have been doing with shows like this, and I think they'll go unknowns. Maybe. I mean, they did get Elijah Wood for an FX show. Yeah. And look how big of... I mean, he was in Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Um, and I think anything can go on FX, pretty much. I think so, too. As far But that's, that's not the thing. I think the thing is, you don't... You want a name to bring people in, but at the same time, you don't want them to have a predisposed like or dislike of a character that that actor or actress will be playing based on what they've done before. And I think that's why kind of Walking Dead went with character actors and then the one name that is popular nerd and geek culture is Norman Reedus because he was Boondock Saints and all that stuff beforehand. Um, and Michael Rooker who was a character actor and a bunch of stuff beforehand. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't one of those things where you either love or hate those guys. It was like Oh shit, they got Rooker. Oh shit, they got Norman Reedus. Yeah. Cool. Like it was one of those things. And I think they'll finally they'll try to find either cult actors and actresses or people that have kind of an underground ish following or unknowns. And you know who else is 
I think she's actually a big fan. I think Olivia Munn. I could be wrong, uh-huh. but I think I re I I know I recently saw her in a Vogue uh, Ask seventy five questions or something like that. Yeah, I don't know if you've ever seen that. But I think she said that Why the Last Man was her favorite book. Really? Okay. Hashtag Olivia Munn for Doctor Man. <laughs> okay. Olivia Munn for Doctor Man. Yeah. She's just. I think she could play pretty much any of those characters. Yeah. Like right. I think she'd be a good three fifty five too. I think so too. Um, oops. Uh, but yeah, she's, I, she's yeah. just a great actress. She, she's so good. Like she doesn't get enough credit for as good as she is. Uh, yeah. There's a lot of again. There's a lot of preconceived notions on her because of Attack her of looks and Attack of the Show and all that shit. And but, like I'll, I'll admit it. Like Attack of the Show and like me and with her. Like yeah. I didn't really like. Yeah. I didn't like Attack of the Show. I didn't really like. You see, you and I didn't like it because of what they did I to think the screensavers. Because they, they screwed over the screensaver people, yeah. yeah. Um, so I guess it was kind of like a pre thing. Yeah. Like pre exactly. patriot. Um, but, but she knew her shit, and it wasn't just her, her reading shit. off a, te- a teleprompter. She knows her shit. Yeah. Um, yeah. Would love to have her on. <laughs> I bet you would. Sure. Uh, yeah, I, 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 dude, I, I'm so excited for this, but I'm trying to temper my excitement just because of how many Should times we... we've been excited yeah. before. Yeah, it's hard. I mean, if we could at least get a pilot, then it might be real. Yeah, then, then that's when I'm be believing everything mm-hmm. that's being said right now. Yeah. Uh, I think we do got to revisit with the new cast, casting. Mm-hmm. So I think it was last year when we were yeah, with Ryan, right? Yeah. I think Ryan O'Leary... Um, yeah. It's so funny how much this comic is kind of interwoven into this show and us. It's it's a part of us, like pretty it was, much. It was within the first 10 or 15 episodes that we saw Ryan's uh, short film and contacted him about coming on the show because we, we reviewed a short film one week and then wanted to talk to him about it. Yeah. Because I had just finished. I When I watched his short film, I had not read it yet. I had not read it yet when yeah. we watched a short film, but you had. You knew it, you knew it. And then afterwards, I ended up reading it and had a whole new appreciation for his short film. Yeah. Like the only reason why I found it was because after I finished the book, I'm like, I gotta see this. There, there has to be a fan <laughs> film or something. Yeah. So his short film that's like 34 minutes long. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hopefully we see that. Yeah. Hopefully we see that. 